like to welcome you to this edition of Country Cooking. We are now recording our March shows. Um, the menu today we are going to do shepherd's pie and pistachio moon cake. Kind of carry out the green for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so what we're going to start with first is the pistachio moon cake. Um, I've got one cup of water, a half a cup of butter on the stove to boil. Once I get it boiling, I'm going to add one cup of flour. I'm going to incorporate that real well and then I'm going to add four eggs, beating them one at a time. And we'll put it on the pan. And I'm starting with dessert first because it's going to take time to cook this, to cool it, to finish it. And while that's all doing all that, we'll go ahead and move on to the shepherd's pie. So um, my margarine butter is almost melted, so we'll just stand here and hope it hurries. Okay, so the water and butter are boiling. We're going to add the flour with the heat on. And we're going to turn the heat off and mix this up all good. It's going to be thick and pasty. And then once it all blends together, that's when you start adding your eggs one at a time. Um, the oven is preheating to 375 degrees, so we can get this in the oven as soon as the oven's ready and this is all mixed up. And you want to mix this so that you're mixing in one egg at a time, otherwise it's going to get a bit um, runny for you, so if you mix it up after each egg, then it'll be easier to, to get it to mix the way it's supposed to. Can't believe March is already here. Almost already here. It will be when you guys see this. Um, the year had gone by so fast that we've been doing country cooking and now here we are starting another year of of the calendar you know 2014 and it, you guys are watching the third month episode already so that it's already going by really fast um this recipe i'm doing it with pistachio just to carry out the green theme you can actually do your moon cake with any type of pudding you want um, if you want to use vanilla if you want to be real chocolatey, you can use chocolate, you can use butterscotch, just whatever flavors you prefer. Um, you can add nuts to it, chocolate syrup if you want. We are just going to get this mixed up really well. Well, I finished mixing the next, this egg and one more, if Valley will quick give you a commercial. Remember to check out the homepage for all of the recipes that are seen on our show. Um, you can download them, or if you don't have access to the internet, you call the office or call me. I'm sure we'll gladly put them in the mail to you. Um, so we'll be right back. Okay, I've got all the eggs incorporated in, and as you can see, it's quite thick and sticky, and that's what you want. And we're just going to go ahead and spread it on a ungreased cookie sheet. Um, they say like a jelly roll pan. I found out that my cookie sheets are actually a little bit too big. This one's not quite as large, so... I'm going to use this. It's dark. Hopefully that doesn't cause a problem with the moon cake because I've never used this pan before. But we'll see. You know me, I'm not afraid to try anything just once. Okay, we'll get all that out. And then you just kind of spread it in your pan. And a thin layer is fine. It doesn't have to be thick or anything. Just bring it to your edges so that you've got kind of a border for when we add the filling after it's been cooked. And we all know the moon's not flat, so it doesn't matter how you put it in here because it's gonna look like the moon when we get done. Okay. Scrape that off. And this is what you got. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes at 375 degrees, and then we're gonna cool it. In the meantime, I will get this washed up. We'll get our shepherd's pie ready to be put together and put in the oven. I'll be right back with you. Do you really want to get up to check on me? 
Get a video monitoring system for your barn and watch us all from the comfort of your home. Let us find a solution to make your calving season less stressful for you and your cattle. Call or stop by today for a free, customized, no obligation quote. You can reach us at 437-2615. Um, we're now at the stove again doing the shepherd's pie. I browned the ground beef and onion, which is um, a pound of ground beef and one cup of diced or chopped onion. And they say to brown it in oil. I didn't because the hamburger has its own grease, so I figure that's enough. So I did brown the beef. Um, I did drain the juice off, or the extra grease. And so now after we've done that, we're going to go ahead and stir in two tablespoons of flour. And you just want to keep stirring so that that flour starts to thicken. It's kind of going to make it like a roux, I guess. And we're going to cook it for one minute. So you're going to sit here and watch me stir this for one minute. And then we're going to go ahead and add the um, three-fourths of a cup of beef stock and um, one tablespoon of ketchup, which I'm not going to measure up. I'm just going to squirt. So we'll just kind of get this going here. Um, I have already started to cook the potatoes. It calls for four potatoes, peeled and cubed. They're here. Um, this will be the next thing we'll work on. And then it also called for five carrots. This particular recipe that I have here, I like the way it comes out. I don't cook it exactly as the recipe because it's telling us on the recipe to mash the carrots also. And to me, an apple pie, your apples are slices. They're not pureed like applesauce. So the potatoes are mashed, but I'm going to leave the carrots in small slices that I've already um, tender quick cooked to a tender, you know, tender stage and I'm going to add a can of peas which I have over there which I've already drained the juice off of. So we are good to go with this. We're going to go ahead and add the three quarters cup of beef broth. And the ketchup. Looked like a tablespoon, didn't it? And we're going to mix that. And we need to um, bring it to a boil. And then we're going to let it boil for five minutes or cook for five minutes. So I think what we'll do while that is cooking, we'll turn the heat up. No, the heat should be good. We will um, go over and drain off the water off the potatoes and we'll start to mash them because once this here cooks for the five minutes then we turn around and we'll put the shepherd pie together. Um, you can see the large chunks of onion in, in here. Um, I'll show Lisa all of this when we get it over there to assemble and stuff. But for right now we're just going to let this sit here and simmer for five minutes while we get those potatoes mashed. Um, as you can see the potatoes are keep, uh, diced and cooked and we're going to just go ahead and mash them up. Okay, we got the potatoes. We're going to add the one tablespoon of butter and the um, one tablespoon of finely chopped onion, which is in here. And we're going to go ahead and mash these up real good. You don't need to worry. That way they know that you're using real potatoes. So. Our beef mixture is ready. And as you can see, it's the, got a little bit of a consistency to it. It's not just like plain hamburger. So we're going to pour that in the pan first. We're going to just layer that in here. It almost has kind of a barbecue smell to it, like when you make sloppy joes. 
And we're gonna put that in the pan and really pack it down so that we can make sure and get everything in the pan. And I did actually have more than a pound of hamburger here because our, our um, hamburger is packaged differently than one pound pack. So yours might not look that full. Um, the five carrots that I sliced into fairly good sized chunks um, and tender cooked them. Um, I do know one thing that I forgot to do with the mashed potatoes is I was supposed to add a quarter cup of shredded cheese into the potatoes. So I will do that right now. Then we'll add the peas and potatoes and get this in the oven. Um, yeah, that looks good. I'll just whip that in real quick. Go ahead and add the layer of peas. If you don't care for peas, don't put them in. If you like green beans instead, you can do green beans. Um, shepherd pie is just kind of stuff, a bunch of different vegetables thrown together and then topped with the mashed potatoes. You've got your beef. Matter of fact, when I was looking for shepherd pie recipes, they actually had it where you can make it with venison. If you like gamey food, um, you can make it with lamb. They talked about um, with different like leftover roast or steak and stuff. So I mean, you can you can pretty well make it however you want. My version is the ground beef because um, it was easier. <laughs> we're trying to make the show kind of an easy episode. So we're, now we're going to add the potatoes on top of that. I'll just do it this way. And you just you're gonna it's gonna be like frosting a cake. And of course, I got some of the hamburger mixture there, but. And then just spread it around. I think I need to use a rubber scraper. If you notice, I didn't add any salt and pepper while we were doing the cooking process because I actually added salt and pepper to the ground beef this morning when I was cooking the beef for this. So it does have seasoning and you know, maybe some people don't care for it. They prefer whoever's eating it to do it themselves. So anyway, okay, this is what the shepherd pie looks like once you get the potatoes put all over the top of it. And then you wanna take some more cheese and just sprinkle on top. And then we will put it in the 375 degree oven for 30 minutes or until the potatoes and stuff are golden brown. Um, in the meantime, we'll get our stuff ready for our moon cake. We're, that should be done in 32 seconds. We're gonna cool it down. We'll get the filling mixed up and put it together so you can see how that is. I'll be right back with you. Finally, an easy to use touchscreen computer is available now from Valley. Telekin comes with its software fully installed and ready to go right out of the box. Just connect your Telekin to the internet and enjoy the experience. Call Valley today at 437-2615 for all the details. All right, to make the filling for on top of the pistachio moon cake, you need an eight ounce package of cream cheese. Um, three and a half cups of milk and the pudding of your choice. And like I said, we're gonna do pistachio this time to carry out the St. Patrick's Day theme, bring it in, bring it in the green, the luck of the Irish. Um, what I always do is I mix my cream cheese first to get it soft before I add the pudding. That way, when you've got your filling, it's smoother. So I'm gonna beat this a bit. So it's gonna be noisy. I'll just sit here and smile.
Okay, once you got that smooth, then you can go ahead and add your, your pudding to the cream cheese and mix that up well. starting to turn the green and then we're slowly going to add the three and a half cups of milk and you, you may want a bigger bowl than what I'm using we'll see what this does it's the instant pudding you have to beat it for a little while so if you guys want to tune into a commercial from Valley I'll be right back with you and by that time maybe we can shut the mixer off coming soon to a town near you one-on-one -on -one device training for your smartphone tablet computer Kindle and more is your smartphone smarter than you are is your tablet confusing are you spending way too much time trying to figure out these devices that are supposed to make your life easier? Then this free class is for you. Appointments can be made by calling Bally at 437-2615. Um, we've got the first part of the moon cake done. We've got the pudding, the pistachio and cream cheese and milk mixed up. That's there. Now we're going to add one tub of Cool Whip. And I'm just going to use the same spatula. And it's a full 8 ounce container Cool Whip Thawed. And then you're just going to go ahead and spread it over the top of your pudding mixture. And as you can see, this is not smooth like a cake. It is bumpy like the moon. That's why we're calling it moon cake. Um, after you get the Cool Whip all on, then if you would like, you can add the chocolate syrup and I think the chocolate syrup just dresses it up and gives it a little bit more color and a little extra flavor, a few extra calories. I mean, that's what we all want, right? So I just spread it like this and then I'm going to drizzle some chocolate syrup on it. And then I'm going to take a knife and pull it through just to give it a little bit of character here. I'm sure the moon doesn't look this cool, but... And we have our pistachio mooncake, which is green, carry out, all, carry out our St. Patrick's Day theme. Our uh, shepherd's pie is done. I will bring that over. We'll take a chunk out of that so you guys can see what it looks like. And I'll be right back with you to plate that up. Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. This is the team you want on your side. Taking you to the future with hometown pride. Advantage. All right, the shepherd pie is done. The pistachio mooncake is done. We're going to go ahead and plate this up so you guys can see how good this is. We need to taste it. Um, if it ends up where it isn't good, it won't be on the valley show, let me tell you. So anyway, we're just going to take a little piece out. And of course, the first piece is always the worst one to pull out because everything wants to stay. So we'll just have to dig in there and get the stuff that's 
stayed behind, which is a little bit here. Just add it like that. So you've got your meat, potatoes, your vegetables, and two vegetables actually. Um, you can serve this with a loaf of French bread, um, biscuits, whatever, whatever type of bread you'd like. Even bread and butter. At our house, bread and butter is, is kind of a staple. Everybody's got that, you know. It's like, you want bread? Yeah, olive bread. So even just a loaf of bread thrown with that would be good. And then the moon cake, I haven't let it set up too much since I put it together. Um, I would recommend refrigerating it, but this here at least gives you an idea what we've got in store with this episode today. So here we've got, um, in honor horse around with St. Patrick's Day, we've got shepherd pie, which is supposed to be a Irish dish and pistachio moon cake. That's our St. Patrick's Day episode. Tune in next two weeks from now and see what we've got for you there. Uh, thanks for joining Vale, and remember to check out all the recipes on the Valley's homepage at www.valleytel.net. Uh, you don't have internet access, call the office. They'll gladly send you the recipes, or you can call me. I'll gladly give them to you over the phone, too. Um, take care, and see you next time. Thanks.